It's that time of the year in Venice when the characters of Carnivale take center stage and behind the scenes, finishing touches are being made. Buongiorno! Oh, Hermione! How are you, darling? I'm good, lovely to meet you. Prince Maurice is the master of ceremonies and this is his 43rd carnival. He says the magic of masquerade is blurring social barriers and the lines between performers and spectators. The important thing is that everybody is a protagonist. Everybody is equal behind the mask. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, equal and different. Dating back to the 12th century, it's one of the oldest festivals in the world and a chance to showcase the artisan craftsmanship which has become synonymous with the floating city. Each costume can take one month to create and cost up to $7,000. They are not buying only a product, but they are buying a tradition of Venice, the most, one of the most antique traditions. They are buying an artisan craft that is unique. Due to COVID regulations, the carnival has yet to return to its former glory, with this year's event a hybrid of both physical and virtual shows. One of the performances that won't take place will be the famous Flying Angel. Linda Pani was the first to do so. This year she'll co-host online events. With the streaming, we can, um, we can involve all the world and uh, we can be the link uh, between uh, the big emotion of the carnival and all the people that are not here. But in a sign of hope, the theme for 2022 is remember the future. And we hope that is the start for all, all of the world because we want that we turn to the normality. So for me, it's really a rebirth. It's fantastic. I'm so excited. And with the countdown almost over, the transformation to Casanova is complete.